Hi everyone, it's Lehman with Lace Covered Skies and I have a few flip throughs. I am taking a quick little break from making junk journals to make some of these notebooks that I love. Um, I think I mentioned in the other video that one of the reasons why I started making junk journals was because I wanted to make covers out of um, little, not little golden books, covers out of vintage sewing patterns. So I have some sewing pattern notebooks and a couple little golden notebooks. So let's get started with these. I mean, there's very simple notebooks, so it's not going to be a long flip through or anything like that. But I got a whole bunch of little golden books. I think that video was up a couple weeks ago. And so I started making notebooks out of the little golden books. I will definitely be making junk journals out of um, some of the golden books, like the Eloise Wilkin ones, Wilkins ones, and a few other ones. But for these ones, I decided to do notebooks. And it is not a vintage book. It has a barcode and this, like the illustrations, I think, are from 1950, but I don't know when this is from. I don't see a date, but it's not a vintage book. It's just such a cute cover. I'm not a big fan of Disney and... Um, I know I have to list this a certain way, but, um, I love these illustrations. The back is like that. And inside I have left the entire story in here. It has mostly lined notebook paper so I wanted to make these notebooks as I I've already done a batch before so I want to make these very functional and I want it to be an option for people who don't junk journal but there are I believe 80 pages of lined notebook paper some vintage um, Dick and Jane book these are not super old they're from the 80s and then vintage textbook page this one is from the 50s I believe some graph paper um, some nature pages vintage dictionary page um, another nature section And this music page is from a book from the 1900s. More vintage dictionary and a Dick and Jane book page. So all of these journals contain those variety of pages. But yeah, so there's this one. And there's this Winnie the Pooh one. Again, all the book pages are in here. This is from 1998, I believe. I think, yeah, that's 1998, right? It says here that this is a first edition. And these pages inside. And then I have three vintage um, sewing pattern notebooks. So I did my best to repair um, any wear and tear on the cover because these are vintage. Let me see if we can find 
the date. I don't. Yeah, I don't think there's a date on this one. But it is vintage. And so I tried to uh, repair as much as I could. But like the edges and any areas that are kind of lifting have been sealed down with glue. So it's very seamless. Even on the inside here, it's very seamless to the cover. And yeah, same variety of book pages, except that there is a nature printable in here. And there's some vintage engineering paper, I believe this is. But yeah, the listing will tell you the exact number of pages. I believe these have um, 70 sheets of lined notebook paper. And there's this one from Simplicity. Again, damage here, but I sealed it all in with glue. And I don't see a date. But this was around a dollar. This is probably from the 70s. And just those types of pages. <clears throat> and then this one. I don't think there's a date on this one either. It's probably maybe late 70s or just 70s. Actually, it might be here, 1975. So this one's from 1975. Let me double check this one because now I realize it's in here. Okay, I can't, I think it punched into the, the date. Let's take a look at this one again. No. Okay, so this is 1975. These are cheaper, so it's safe to say that they're around the same date or a little bit earlier. And the same types of pages. Okay, so the way I'm going to list it in my Etsy shop for the vintage sewing pattern ones is by the number of the pattern. So this is 6880. This one is 6882. And of course, the picture will link to it so you'll know which one you're getting. This is 5291. So the vintage sewing patterns are gonna be on one listing and there's gonna be a drop down menu. And the little golden book one will have its own listing with a drop down menu for um, each of these. And it's probably just going to be, I'm going to call this one fairy tale. I'm going to call this one little golden book fairy tale because, you know, you guys know, right? Um, Disney's very picky about the copyright. Um, and all this is original, so I didn't copy anything. But I think they're still very sensitive to it. So this will be little golden book fairy tale. And this will be... Um, little golden book bear. Little golden book bear. All right. Um, next, my printer um, just died on me. Okay, died. Another word you can't say on YouTube. <laughs> but my um, my printer just stopped working. So I got a new printer. So I found out some things. I use the Instant Ink program and I buy my printers at Best Buy and I learned some tips and tricks. So if you guys want to know anything about that, 
um, I could do like a little printer type of video if you're interested. If you're interested in that, let me know. I found out some pretty interesting ways to save money on a printer. Um, but I only brought that up to say that I have been wanting to get back into making some textured junk journals, like journals with lots of texture in them. But I was waiting for my printer because I do need to print to work on those journals. But they will be coming up and I'm excited. I've been really enjoying making those types of journals. So that's going to be what's up next for me. Um, but if you guys want to follow me on a little bit more of a day-to-day -day basis, I post a little more often on TikTok just because it takes me less time to upload on there. I don't know if my internet is super slow or what, but sometimes it takes me like 24 hours to upload a video onto YouTube. Hopefully that will change soon. I might be getting a new phone soon and I do film on my phone and hopefully that'll change and I can post a little bit more. But I just posted a video um, on ways to get free things to put in your journals and I had started a while ago doing some collaging for botanical journals and I got a whole bunch done. I hope I can find them. <laughs> but I'm going to do a video next on tips on how to collage. And hopefully that's going to be next. But I hope that will be interesting to you guys. I have been doing some weird little things that make collaging quicker. But also makes it look like you put in a lot of time to like do a bunch of things but that's going to be next so look forward to that and thank you so much for watching today if you guys are interested in these notebooks go ahead and check out my etsy shop linked down below okay thanks so much for watching today and i will talk to you next time bye everyone